Okay, hey YouTube. I'm gonna do a quick just a demonstration of uh, all the different drills you see back there. So I'm gonna do the Makitas first. The Makita XDT 13, 18 volt. And the Makita XDT 15. Both have three amp hour batteries, fully charged. So you guys could get kind of an idea of uh, so you can get an idea of what <coughs> what the difference is. Okay, full charge. These are all I'm gonna have all fully charged batteries on everything when I do this. So I'm going to a solid, pressure treated. I don't even know if this one's pressure treated. This might not be pressure treated, but this is solid as a rock. So first I'm gonna do the Makita subcompact, 18 volt and the Makita uh, XDT 13. In the, in the XDT 15 subcompact and we'll uh, see how these go let me start let me start these all right I'm going to make all these screws even and level. I'm going to make all these screws even and level. So that when I drive them, they're Exact. Okay. All right. So this is the first test, and these are four-inch square drive deck screws, and I'm using Milwaukee bits, the 50 time silver, the newest ones in the Milwaukee bits with the same Milwaukee uh, bit holders. All the same. So we'll see what one does the best here. This one. As you see, this is, was a lot quicker. And it actually drove the screw really deep. I drove the screw almost a half an inch over here on this side. As you can see, it just tore the wood right up. So there you have it. What's the compare? Is the the obviously the XDT brushless 13 has way more power than the uh, subcompact. Not just way more power. It was way quicker. Alright. So basically you know what that can do. Now and unfortunately. Oh yeah I do have it. I have a 2 amp hour battery but it's charging. So. Let me put these over here. Because what I want to compare now. I'm going to compare to. Even though this isn't brushless. And this only has a 1.5 amp hour battery. Of course, duh. This is the DeWalt Extreme DCF 801. Which I think this is going to be better than Makita. I like Makita tools better. But I think this is going to be... I think this is going to drive screws quicker than this. Alright, so I'm going to use 3 inch. Because these are only 12 volts. So you're not going to really use these for... 
heavy duty screws and you know you're not gonna screw screws like these all day with with these two drills let me make sure my camera's still going video yeah okay i mean if you're gonna buy a drill like this to drive these all day you're gonna break your plain and simple you're gonna ruin your 12 volt drill i wouldn't drive nothing bigger than a three than a three inch uh than a three inch screw and I'm not going into this I'm not going into the same holes I'm going into is that the wrong bit that's the wrong bit okay and I'm going to use each drill to start each hole so There's a battery, the two amp hours charge. All right. All right, those are even. They might not be going in the wood straight, but that's okay. All right, so here's the Makita 12, 12 volt, the DT03. And again, this is not this is brushed. This is not brushless. And this is the the wall 12 volt extreme brushless. Which I think this is and this doesn't have no speed change or anything like that. It's one speed. I mean you do got variable speed in the trigger. And this is the, this has this has speed adjustments here, which is on high, because this is in high. So let's see what these two do. Like I said, three inch regular, uh, three inch deck screws on both of them. Well, I stopped it as you can see, both at the same. The screws, I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, that's not gonna work. I gotta move this screw over. That screw looks bent. I don't know. All right. Okay. This screw has to go down a little bit. Okay. Oh, I got that one in reverse. Hold on. Ready? I'm going to go now. And there's no use to going any further, as you can see. The DeWalt, the DeWalt's weight a lot quicker, and it buried the screw already. This one's got about an inch and a quarter sticking out. Okay. Now, even though this is a, even though this is an 18 volt tool, even though this is the 18 volt tool, I've never tested this out before, so this is the first time I'm seeing this as whoever's watching or gonna watch my video soon. See you next. Okay. But now we're going to see what the... This is, like I said, you guys know. I said in the beginning of the video. This is the Makita 18 volt. This has a 2 amp hour battery on it now. This has, this is a 12 volt DeWalt with a 2 amp hour battery. And I have a feeling this is going to keep up with this. But we'll see right now. 12 volt DeWalt these are, uh, against the 18 volt subcompact Makita. Okay. Make sure they're both in forward. As 
as you can see. The Makita was a tiny bit faster. This was a little tiny bit faster and it sunk the screw. It sunk the screw a tiny bit deeper. Basically, if you wanna get this or this, as you just seen right there, you're gonna get about the same You're gonna get about the same same thing basically. They're about the same. For speed and power, they're, these, these two are about the same. And this is the 18 volt. And like I, I said in my videos when I first got these, I was never a DeWalt fan. But these little DeWalt 12 volts, as you can see when I did the Makita one. Because they do, they do make this Makita, they do make these Makita 12 volts and brushless too, I'm pretty sure. But as you can see, this little 12 volt DeWalt is really small, compact. This is an incredible little, you know, it's small, lightweight. It's lighter than this. This is actually pretty light though. I'd say these are about the same, I'd say these are about the same weight. Craftsman brushless. Okay, two amp hour battery. Here's the Makita brushless, two amp hour battery, four bars, and this one has this is full. It's only three bars on here, but there's only three bars on this battery. Same as the wall. If you look at the uh, Craftsman. Two. I'll show you this up close. If you look at the, uh, even though one's facing the front and one's facing the back, look at the, that's how you know all the Craftsmen are basically, anything Craftsmen like this is, ba you're, it's, it's basically you're buying, basically you're buying a DeWalt that says Craftsmen on it. I'm telling you right now. If you get any of these Craftsmen brushless tools, that people are saying they're crafts, man. They're no good. Believe it or not, they are good. I've had this since these came out in Lowe's, and I've used this drill alone to, to screw down. The first day I got this, I, I, I put down 3,500 tile board screws. Okay? And here's what they look like. Okay, there's 800 in here, and I had, there's 800 in here, and these are inch and a quarter. Actually, the ones I put down were inch and, I actually did five, inch and five eighths, but I put literally 3,500 of these into, I don't even remember how much, I don't know. It was over 700 foot of, of tile board, but I did it with this. And it worked fine. So I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna do the same screws, different holes. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do. I'll do the um. I'm gonna do two four the same one, the four inch ones. Okay, there's one. Actually, it doesn't even matter which ones I use to start. I just want to make sure these are. And I can't tell if my hole. Oh, no, that is level. All right, so. Okay, we're level. All right, so now that's gonna be the Craftsman brushless. And this is the Makita, as you know. The Makita brushless and the Craftsman brushless. And basically they're about the same size. 
The craftsman's a little bit taller. Sure. I'm sure it has just as much power as the Makita. But here's the difference between these two. This is $99. This is $170 most of the time at Lowe's. I think they price reduced these to $150 now. The, the Craftsman. But I will say this. The Craftsman has way more play. Okay. Just like the Waltz. The Waltz have the same amount of play. They're the same thing. If you look at the collets. Another thing I'll show you. Okay. Look at the collets on the Craftsman and the DeWalt. If the light shuts off. Same thing. There you go. Same thing. Just this one sticking out a little bit further. Alright, so here's the Makita, here's the Craftsman. Let's see. And there, this has no speed control. This is in the highest speed. This is in, of course, the highest speed. Because it only has a high speed. It doesn't have variable speed. Let's see what these two do. Oh. Let me back this off a little bit. one slipped all right oh okay all right oh hold on i messed that totally messed that up let me start this all over again let me do this all over again because i want to Make sure. Okay. You gotta press hard with these. Because square drive screws are a pain in the neck to drive, as you can see. They bounce the bits bounce up. Craftsman. And you see how deep that went. If you guys could see that. <laughs> Hold on. Because I just want to prove a point. Alright. And I and I I'm pretty sure I stopped my that's the Makita, that's the Makita, that's the craftsman, as you can see. Where is it? Right here. That crafts that okay. So, you can see it yourself. <laughs> people who think that craftsman, people think this craftsman, or the craftsman brushless. I always see people making comments on all kinds of videos, on the Facebook, on Facebook uh, site when they advertise for craftsmen, because I'm on the craftsman page, I'm on the Makita page. A lot of people are up there saying, oh, the craftsman's garbage, it's no good. Okay. <laughs> you say so. But I'm telling you now, these are awesome drip. These are awesome. Now, chewing my wood up here. That's okay. All right, so I got these screws at the same height. I'm going to back them out. Come on. I'm not going to do no more square drives. Because as you see, there are painted, these, these are super long screws. What way am I going with this now? I reverse. Alright. Ah. And that screw literally, that's that screw literally just shot across the room. I don't know. I couldn't get this trigger pull at the same time. Because I'm doing... I'm holding... I'm trying... I'm driving these things. And I'm trying to hold two super powerful impact drivers at the same time. Just not working. Alright, but here we go. 
I'll do this. I'm gonna get rid of these squares, square drives because they're not working. I don't even know what happened. It came. Oh, it came out of there. What I do with that bit? That came out of here. I'm gonna do just the torques because they're easier to. The bits don't pop out, but you'll see. Again, I'm gonna do different new holes. And these are three inch deck mate screws I'm driving now. Switch hands. Okay, I'm gonna fork them. Oh. Dude, that screw is bent. I'm gonna do it again. There you go. Again, craftsman sunk it a little bit deeper. So now you know whether you buy this Craftsman, whether you buy this Makita, two amp hour batteries. Of course, this comes with a three amp hour battery. All right. So just for comparison, now I'll put what comes with the drill on here, and we'll drive the same screws again. And of course, the Makita is going to win this time. I have no doubt about that, because now I'm using a now I'm using a three amp hour battery. And again, this battery's this battery's fully charged now. And as you see, and I drove a few screws with this. It's still a full charge, but you know, once you once you use the battery a couple times, this is not. But anyways, here we go again. I am, uh, oh, okay. Okay, see that? Not much difference. I stopped because even though this screw is a little high, I stopped because the Makita already sunk it. So as you can see, that's about an eighth of an inch with a three amp hour battery. So there you go. Even the Makita with a three amp hour battery, the Craftsman with a two amp hour battery is almost just as fast. I mean, how much more did I have to go? That much. You know what I mean? What's that? <laughs> That's nothing. So if you have your doubts about Craftsman, or you're listening to all these guys on the on the, on the videos and everything else, they're all saying, oh, craftsmen, well, I don't, and look at that. I didn't even actually, <laughs> I actually, what the funny thing is, I actually didn't even have the right bit in there. Look at that, I had a, I had a T, I had a T20 in there, in the craftsman just now, okay? So, I had a T20 bit in the craftsman that whole time. When it's supposed to be a T25. So even I didn't even have the right bit driving these screws. And it, and it still worked. But there you go again. So like I say, I use the Craftsman. I use all my tools all the time. I basically know that I basically know from the year I've been using this. And for the, uh, let's see, November, December, January, February, March. We'll say for the four months I've been using this, I know what they do. Because I've been, I bought this in November 2019. 
after the Black Friday sales or during the Black Friday sales. And I bought this when these first came out to Lowe's. It might be a year and a half now. This I, I think I've had for a year and a half. So, but there you go. That's the that's the difference between the Craftsman and the, the Makita. And these aren't brand new. I mean, this Makita does look brand new because, like I said, I, I've only had it four months. And, of course, the Craftsman, you can't even see the name on it. Obviously, I use this plenty, hundreds of times. You know, I work I, I work almost every day for a year and a half. I've been using that Craftsman all the time. Um, what I do want to try, what I do want to see, another little thing I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to do, now, I'm only going to do small. These are, uh, I think these are inch and a quarter screws here. Uh, these are inch and five eighths. All right. So again, here's the DeWalt 12 volt. Okay. And here's the Craftsman 20 volt. Okay. Well, I did good that time. All right. So again, to prove how powerful the the, the, the wall is, again, I'm gonna put it up against the Craftsman. I already did it up against the Makita subcompact, but now I'm gonna put this little DeWalt up against a 20 volt big tool. I mean, you can see the size difference. If you had the um, if you had the DeWalt 887 or something within that range of the 887, basically this Craftsman right here, same thing. Okay? Better than the Atomic. This is better than the Atomic. So if you're going to go by, if you're looking at the, uh, the 18 volt or is it the 18 volt? No, the 20 volt Atomic. At, uh, that they sell at Home Depot now. These are both lows. Okay. Then basically if you buy the 20 volt atomic. You're getting the same. You're getting the same power almost. And in my opinion. You're going to get the same thing as this 12 volt. Because the atomic is about this. This is just as powerful. The extreme. All right, but here's these two. Oh, let me make sure. Let me make sure. Okay, I'm going the right way. There you go. As you can see. Did the Craftsman win? Yeah, the Craftsman won. Definitely. The craftsman sunk the screw before that. But again, just like this, up against the Makita with a three amp hour battery. This little drill is almost just as quick. That's it. Maybe one more. Okay. Now that screw and that screw are at the same depth. So there you go. Okay, like I said, you're if you're buying this Craftsman, you're buying Stanley Black and Decker. You're, there's, there's really no difference between this and any of the DeWalt brushless ones. This is actually better than some of the DeWalt brushless ones. And as you can see, the little, like I said, I don't really like DeWalt drills and drivers, but I do like the extremes. I won't buy another, I won't buy any 20 volt DeWalt. Um, cordless drills or cordless uh, impacts brushless I won't buy none of the 20 I don't like none of their uh, DeWalt's 20 volt line of drills or or uh, their hammer drill might be good and their drills are, are okay any other new brushless drills 
But the impact drivers, I don't know. I think the wall got to do a little better. They did really good with this, but like, this is the newest one. So if they built, if the wall built all their 18 volt, um, I mean their 20 volt, if the wall built all their 20 volt brushless, as good as they built this little 12 volt extreme, then I might consider, I mean, I got plenty. Then I might consider uh, buying them. Now, a lot of people say quarter cables aren't that great. Oh, quarter cable, those are garbage. They, you know, same company. If you don't know, same company, okay? If you're buying the wall, you're buying quarter cable, you're buying Craftsman, guess what? Same company makes all of them, all right? And I like, and I like Porter, and I like Porter Cable, obviously. I have it, and this is beat up, this is used. If you're watching my other video, I talk about this. Again, these are both two amp hour batteries. Both three, both, uh, that's got three bars. That's still got three bars, but I know what I'm going to do just for the video. Because some people might say, oh, well, you used the Craftsman a few times, which I don't pe think people really care. But you never know. Somebody might say it wasn't. Somebody might say it's not fair because I used the Craftsman already a few times. So I'm going to put a. I'm gonna put a brand new battery on it. I'm gonna start with another fresh battery. Okay, this is a fully charged battery. Since I charge it, never used. Same thing with this Porter Cable one. It's a fully charged battery. I haven't used it since I charged the battery. Now here's the Craftsman again. Craftsman brushless porter cable. And this is the porter cable. This is not brushless. This is a brush porter cable. And don't even ask me what the model number this is. This is a P. I can't even read it because the, the, it's so small. This is. Uh, I want to say two years old. I had this for about two years, maybe two and a half years now. Used this a whole bunch. 